Okay, we have to do a quick uh, haul while the hubby's out. I went to the thrift store today and uh, had some good luck. It was um, yellow and blue day at the Mission Thrift Store where I live. So I don't remember which was 50% off and which was 75% off, but it was one or the other for all of most of these items. So I got some reinforcers. I'm not sure how many's in there, but I'm always looking for those. They were 75 cents, so they were half of that at least. Um, I got these two decks of cards. They weren't on sale, but they were only 50 cents. They look to be unused. This one has a pretty barn th scene on the front, which I really love. And these ones have um, a medallion flower of life kind of thing with a dark blue background, which is one of my favorite colors, almost a teal blue. And then we've got some books. I got a vintage address book from Thunder Bay. It's a um, leather cover and home leather craft Toronto. And it's got nice, almost like cardstock pages. And it looks to be completely unused. So I like the little tab pages. And then it has a spot in the back for birthdays and addresses and anniversaries, Christmas card list. So this is gonna make great journaling cards, I think, is what I'll probably do. Originally $1.99 at the Woolworth. And it was 50 cents, not on sale, but I figured for that I couldn't leave it there because the cover itself and then all those journaling cards, just uh, great value. Um, a diary, Secret Dreams and Wishes for 50 cents. I liked these um, fasteners. I don't know if I'll be able to reuse them, but I suppose I could if I reuse the book, just recover the book. And then the pages are all a baby blue. There's a couple of scribbles, but mostly they're uh, blank with the little heart and locket, heart and keys up at the top of the page with the lines, dotted lines. So probably won't leave those pages in it. I'll probably do something different and use those pages somewhere else. That's how I roll. Um, and then there was this book of buttons, which again, and this one wasn't on sale, but I just thought all the pictures of buttons that are in here could be put onto journaling cards and, and have that feeling of luxe, but not the thickness and the bulk of it. So I thought this was a terrific value for $2. I just have to now work on my collection of circle punches because I do not want to sit and cut all those circles by hand. So I'm going to have to get um, searching for more circle punches. So that'll be on my wish list next month. There's that. And then this one was $2.50. So it was at least $1.25. It might have been less. So New Mom Survival Guide Organizer. And it's just got this beautiful, um, not quite gingham, not quite plaid. It's like plaid with polka dots in the middles, in the middle. And it has all the different pastel colors. And then all this lined paper that I can use to make notebooks with. But I just see myself either doing a series of little notebooks in pastel colors or a rainbow pastel notebook. So I won't keep it as baby stuff, but I will use this paper and then use the lined paper because a lot, like a lot of these kinds of books, it just never gets used. So there's lots of this kind of um, lined paper that I can use and then of course all these edges. So I thought that was a great book for a book and a quarter. And then this one was only a dollar. Celtic Cookery, which I may or may not, I probably won't rip this up right away. I really like this and I want to read, read it and maybe do some of the recipes. There's not a lot of great pictures. I mean, there's line drawings, but um, I want to try some of the recipes. So that was nice. And then this one was $1.50, not on sale. Um, some sort of uh, Holland American lines notebook with ivory pages just unused so I love that coloring I can just 
ink the edges and I'm good to go. Here's another one that was $1.50. I usually try to stick to the colors that are on sale, but these were just such good values that I couldn't leave them there. So again, the paper, the paper, the paper, <laughs> the paper, <laughs> the guest book. So I can cover up the guests on each page and I've got a great little trifold. Awesome. Just love that. This one was half price, at least. And another guest book, ivory paper, and just uh, two sections. So those could make little fold in half and, and make a notebook. I have to just trim the guest part off. And then I can use all these covers. I, I may not, but I could. And then I've been wanting to get some little golden books. I finally found uh, this one was a dollar or less. I've never seen this one. I was actually looking for some that would be like the ones I had when I was a kid, which would be Tiger in the Grass um, comes to mind first. That was um, the one that I really remember. So if anyone has it, I, I'm looking for it. Um, but I want to make this one into a junk journal and I'll do a summer junk journal with this because I've been really wanting to to try that. And I don't, I've never read this book, but it's got some nice pictures, which I'll include within the junk journal, maybe on the journaling cards. Um, but yeah, I really like that. And then I've never really seen, I don't think I've ever seen these smaller little golden books. They're quite a bit smaller. And this one's Animal Homes and it was 75 cents. And the book itself, both of these had some pages ripped out. So it's got some pretty baby animals and, and stuff, pictures, but I thought that would make a nice sized junk journal. Some Velcro dots for 25 cents. And then two, uh, well, well, this is one enamel pan, $3. So I love this for baking um, or for, more for cooking. It's just the two of us. So sometimes we're not needing the big pan, but also I will use something like this for when I dye coffee dye paper it'll be really handy for that. I do a lot of part sheets of paper when I when I die because I go through and I salvage what, what isn't uh, needed on some of the paperwork from work. So this book I just was thrilled to find. Um, it's some sort of a religious photo album I guess. It's got a Corinthians, oh faith, hope and love thing and a heart. It's, it's a blue velvet. It seems to be in decent shape. A little bit like dull looking compared to the inside but when you open it up and you open it up you have photos 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 but what I was thinking is that I can use these photo things to make pockets in journals and then I'll put a signature on the left side over here and a signature on the right side and then when they close, then they close again. So it's like a double journal. It might even be different sizes of flip through um, pages, but I just thought that was so unique. I've never seen a book like that. And I thought it would make a very interesting junk journal, more like something like treasure books would do. Um, she finds these things and uses them and makes something awesome with them. So that one really inspired me. I love it when I find something like that that inspires me. Now this one was, um, uh, they have a section in the store where if it's X'd out like this, you can get three children's books for a dollar. So um, I got the Duck, Geese and Swan from a local public school. And of course it's from their library. So this is, these were worth the dollar to me, let alone the book. So I've got some cards that I can copy and use and copy and use. And then I've got the envelope, which I can use as a pattern to make more envelopes. So that was thrilling. And there was a couple more. We'll have to wait till I get to them. Um, Beatrix Potter puzzle for $2. So it was a, a dollar or less. And it's a 15 piece puzzle. So I'm curious to see how big these pieces are. I thought even if for a dollar, even if they're not as big as I would have liked them to be, the image on the front, even though it's covered in tape, um, could still be used. Oh, it's a round puzzle. 
Oh, and they are some pretty big pieces. So maybe there's more than one. It doesn't say that there's more than one. They must have just threw extra pieces in. Anyway, I'm thrilled with that for a dollar. Those are decent sized pieces. Not the jumbo jumbo, but they're good. And then there's my other pan. So in my other pan, I have um, a heart, wooden heart with holes in it and then hearts on it. And it's an embroidery kit. So I thought this would make a good book plate for the front of a book. Um, stained, painted, and embroidered. And then here's another photograph album for $1.50, so um, 75 cents or less. Again, this yellow floral paper just had me. And then this is this back page is actually a pocket. And then there's more of the paper or photograph film, which I may or may not use. I think, I think I'm going to have to watch some treasure books um, videos and see how she used some of that. I guess it was mostly with sewing, but that's just an empty book. Oh, there's some someone's fun wedding pictures. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's anyone I know. I kind of think the girl in black, it looks familiar. Anyway, I do live in a small town. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I have to post those on uh, Facebook and see if I can find her. And then these were um, a quarter each or less. And so it's six wooden hearts, which I could use in journaling, but I also sell these kinds of things in my Etsy store. And since white rose closed around here, they're harder to find. We don't have Hobby Lobby and I don't, I don't really know if Michaels has them or not, but I've never seen them in there. And then we have a piece of cross stitch, which was a dollar, so 50 cents or less. A mother's love, it's got the nice scene in the middle, uh, nice saying in the middle, but really I was thinking of taking snippets and fraying the edges and using them in, in books or on tags. I know it's a shame someone put a lot of work into this, but I'll never use it like this, and most of the people that I know would never use it like that, so you do what you do. Here's the other two $1 books, or three for a dollar books. So um, I didn't really care about the subject matter on this one, but I liked the yellowed pages. So very vintage looking. Let's see if this has a date in it. Eighty-nine. So it's not ancient, but it does have the library card with just one person signing it out. But, you know, it's an authentic library card, and I can photocopy that, and another pocket for that. And then the third one, which is also a library book, is The Dragon War, and it was, got the same thing. Now, this card is very thin, and it says disc on it, but I could maybe white that out and photocopy and use that as a, like, glue it onto some cardstock and then of course there's that which has the Percy Centennial Public School logo on it which is kind of kind of neat so and then I know people are doing dragon journals so I might be able to use this for a swap or something and then some patterns which sometimes I have them in my store my Etsy store so the Berta pattern was half price or less 50 cents or less and it has blue tissue paper in it so that's really the reason I got that one because I think that's just beautiful beautiful color and then the um, pattern isn't cut either and it's got um, not photography but drawings which I like for patterns uh, so I may be able to make a, a cover for a journal out of that and home decorating couch covers um, for 50 cents. Um, I just thought for this one more so to try to sell on Etsy or if it doesn't, it's got the nice pattern paper that I can use. Someone's handwritten notes. It's not like I want to recover my couch. I've done that before, but I just got it more for the supply. And then this one again, um, a 50 cents or less new look patterns and it's uncut. 
I don't even know if there's instructions. Yeah, the instructions are on like a newsprint type paper. So I thought that was a nice style. It's already started to be ripped for me to make it into a book. It's some old yellowed cellophane tape, which is so cool. And then the last pan is the $3 they were each three dollars, but again, I I'm trying to I'm gonna hope to see if these will fit in my uh, air fryer. If not, they're great for dyeing paper, campfire, just regular everyday dinners. We make a great size lasagna for hubby and me to not have endovers for leftovers for life. <laughs> and then the best piece of the whole, I mean, I love it all. The best piece that I got was this World Atlas, Encyclopedia Britannica World Atlas for $7 or less. It's big, but it's full. First of all, look at these pages even just for um, making ruffles. I can cut those strips and make ruffles with that, with all the text on it. And then when you get out of that stuff and into the actual maps. There's so much information in here. Some people like to journal with numbers things, but look at the coloring on the maps. They're just pretty colors, the pinks especially, and the greens. So maybe some of this could be used in my pastel rainbow journal too. So I just couldn't leave that there for $7. Just had to have it. Yep, gotta have it. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. I'm really thrilled that I got this done before Hubby got home, both so that he doesn't see all the stuff that I bought and so that um, he wouldn't be talking or playing his music or playing his YouTube over my video. So thank you for watching. We'll see you soon in the next video and have a great day.